So in our quiz right here, let's go around and add in a quiz question and then select out a correct answer as well. So to do that, I'm going to go around over here and click on add new and I'm going to select choice right here. So once we do that, we can go around and add in our question. For example, I'm going to go around and see um, what is the format of Photoshop right here. Uh, so I'm just going to go around and say what is the format of file saved by Photoshop. So let's say this is going to be the question right here. So I'm just going to say PSD and AI right here. I'm going to add an option dot X and I'm going to go around and say HTML right here. So these are the four options as you can see right here. So one of them is correct. And what we need to do is we need to select out the correct answer. And for that, you can go around and the correct answer for what format a file is saved by Photoshop is BSD. So I'm just going to go around over here on the correct answer section and then click right here and rest are um, considered wrong as you can see. And this is considered right right here. You can go around and reshuffle out the um, answers as well just by clicking and dragging. And for this, you can go around and assign out points as well. For example, if uh, um, the one who fills up the form answers this question, then they are awarded, let's say, for example, five points right here. So you can see that this is correct. And if I were to go around over here, you can also see that you can shuffle up the options and then turn it into drop down right here, like select your answer as well. So you can go around over here, um, make it as a choice. So let's just go around onto preview and you can see that this is what they can do right here and they can submit it. And it says complete right here, just like this. You can also view the results as you can see and it says correct right here. So that is what you have. And you can also go around over here and go to sub, uh, not subtitle, uh, but I'm just going to go around and say uh, uh, example sub right here. So let's just go around. You can see that you can add in subtitle as well, but you can also make it a drop down right here. So you can see that um, now this comes in a drop down format and you can submit it. And if I were to view the result, it says incorrect now because we chose the incorrect option right here. And that is what we have, as you can see right there. That is how you can add in the uh, quiz question and then select um, and then select out the current um, uh, the correct answer so that it grades out the one who fills up, uh, out the form accordingly. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.